Die Hexenverfolgung ist lange vorbei in Europa, aber es gibt sie noch in Afrika. Dort sind es vor allem Kinder, die verfolgt, misshandelt und getötet werden, um die Gemeinschaft vor ihren angeblich bösen Kräften zu schützen. Der Brite Nicholas Lorry wollte darüber unbedingt einen Film machen und zusammen mit einem Team aus Ghana hat er einen intensiven Dschungelkrimi gedreht und den bei uns vorgestellt. Hier ist The Cursed Ones. Ein geradezu klassischer Einstieg. Wir folgen einem desillusionierten Reporter in den westafrikanischen Dschungel. Eigentlich sollte er nur über ein traditionelles Fest berichten. Doch er wird Zeuge, wie ein friedliches Dorf sich zum Kampf gegen den Teufel rüstet. Ihre Waffe ist der Exorzismus. Ihre Opfer Kinder. It is just as I suspected. This girl is possessed by the devil. Sogar der alte Pastor des Dorfes steckt mittendrin und fordert den Tod eines stummen Mädchens. Gemeinsam mit einem jungen, idealistischen Pastor versucht der Reporter, das Unvermeidliche zu bekämpfen. Er gerät in einen Strudel aus Aberglaube, Macht und Korruption. The Cursed Ones macht mit einem beispielhaften Fall auf die hunderttausende Kinder weltweit aufmerksam, die als sogenannte Hexenkinder verfolgt, misshandelt und getötet werden. Die Idee zum Film entstand aber nicht in Afrika, sondern in Oxford, wo Produzent Nicholas Dory das Thema wissenschaftlich untersucht hat. Well, I, I originally came across the subject at university um, and I found out that not many people really know about this problem of child witch accusations and so I really wanted to make a film about it basically and I wanted to do a narrative film not a documentary so that we could reach a wide audience um, and so I'd worked with the director with Nana previously and we got together with a German writer and the three of us really put together the story uh, and then uh, Maximilian the writer he um, he went off and, and wrote it uh, but really the director he contributed an immense amount he, he grew up in Ghana actually and so he he had a lot of knowledge about the area that was he's close to church isn't he? yes he's very close to the church and he he, he lives in London now uh, and so I think it was useful to have someone who had both the kind of the inside perspective from West Africa but also the the outside knowledge of what of what it looks like to an outsider coming in for the first time and I think I think he had that which was really useful yeah. people from Africa often complain all this negative documentary about Africa and stop doing that and um, you are so arrogant Europeans how do you feel about it because you're from Britain and making this film well I mean, first of all, it's important when we watch African films or films set in Africa not to immediately assume that it's about all of Africa. Of course, yeah. you know, Africa is a huge place, and when we watch a, a film about Germany, we don't automatically think that it's um, it, it's it's related to Italy, yeah. uh, for example. So this is really about a specific place in Africa, or at least West Africa. Um, And it's also about a rural community, so it's not about what happens in the cities. Yeah. Um, and you know, the cities in Africa are very different from um, from the rural towns and villages. And there's much more of a stark contrast there than there is here. Yeah. Uh, and so it is important to realize that we are talking about a relatively specific community. Yeah. Nonetheless, it is very widespread, this problem. Uh, it takes different forms um, around the whole of Africa. It's, it's Exactly, yeah, albinism, albinos are targeted because of this, so it's not just children, it's not only females, males are also targeted. And it's also not just in Africa, in, I mean around the world, in Asia it's, it's, um, it's a big problem and it's spreading to Europe. In, in London there are now cases of child abuse um, that are done in the name of witchcraft ac accusations. So I, I, I think it's an, an important subject and it's not really about you know, showing Africa in a negative light. Um, we're, we're showing a particular group of people yeah. uh, and, and trying to shed light on, on what's going on yeah. there, really. Yeah. 
you're trying to show something and you wanted to make a film to change a little bit. So who's the audience? Who will see it and where will be the change maybe? Well, that's a great question. I mean, initially the, the audience was uh, supposed to be a very West African audience. Yeah. Um, we've struggled in Nigeria, um, which was going to be our, our, our biggest audience. Yeah. Um, we yeah, we, we've, I mean, it's, it's a massive audience over yeah, there. Yeah. It's a big market, uh, and they obviously they do a lot of films, as you, as you probably know. Uh, but we've met um, a lot of resistance, I think, in Nigeria. Partially, it's the subject which is controversial over there. It's, um, even though we're not necessarily criticizing um, witchcraft beliefs or uh, any kind of religious beliefs, tradition. we're not, we're not criticizing yeah. tradition, we're criticizing child abuse yeah. and, and corruption. Yeah. Nonetheless, it could be interpreted as, as um, being critical of you know, wider society in the region. So we've met some resistance there. Uh, but more recently, we've, we've, I think, shifted our focus uh, now to Europe uh, and the US. Uh, and we're, we're focusing on distribution now in the US and, and Europe, um, trying to reach an audience there. And we hope then that uh, the West African audience will, will follow suit. Die englisch ghanaische Produktion glänzt mit fantastischem Schauspiel, starken Dialogen und einer spannenden Krimi-Dramaturgie. Die intensiven Bilder, für die Produzent Nicholas Laurie verantwortlich war, und der eindringliche Ton garantieren schmerzhaft schönen Kinogenuss mit einer eindeutigen moralischen Botschaft. <lacht> hey? Not to worry. She cannot hurt you. Hurt me. What does she do? She is a witch. 